all right guys welcome back and in this video we are going to be learning about inheritance and polymorphism and we are only going to be covering polymorphism if we have enough time if we don't have enough time we'll cover that in the next video but let's recap what we did in the last video was that we created a class of students we learned about classes and objects basically and we created a class of students with the attribute of number of students inside a class then we created or initialized the instance variables inside this uh, initialization function which is also known as a special function and then we have this uh, function inside our students class that prints out the full name of the student and then we added two students or objects or instances to our class that is me and Johnny Sins, the famous Johnny Sins and then we just printed out the full name and the number of students inside our class. So let's get started with inheritance. So what exactly does inheritance mean in terms of biology? So forget about coding. Uh, for this, for our scenario, let's say you have a dad or your mom, which you probably have, otherwise you wouldn't have been born. But anyways, let's take the example of your parents and you are the probably the son and or the daughter that is listening to this video. So you got some characteristics from your parents. For example, let's say your parents had a blue eye color. Then you probably got it from your parents if you also have a blue eye color then you probably inherited it or you got this characteristic from your parent similarly other characteristics like height or uh, some kind of behavior for example if your mom is an extrovert or an introvert you got these characteristics from your mom or your dad so for example in my case i'm an entrepreneur and i really like creating my own things and i got this from my mom who owns a hospital and runs her hospital so i inherited this characteristics from her uh, this one characteristic from her so and I'm also kind of an introvert so I also inherited that but for example let's say you are bald and your dad is also bald so you kind of uh, you know had bad luck and you inherited this baldness from your dad and but for example let's say your parents are really really wealthy so you inherited a lot of money in that case and good for you <laughs> but anyway so this is known as inheritance in terms of biology but now let's understand what inheritance means in terms of coding and uh, Python or basically object oriented programming. So in our case, if we inherit or if we get some characteristics from another class to create a subclass, then that is known as inheritance. For example, let's say we have a class of students which has a lot of attributes of class students inside it. For example, number of students and these three instance variables, it, then it has this function of full name inside the student's class. So all these things are attributes of the student's class. What if we could just take all these characteristics that are inside the student's class and use it inside another class? This is basically known as inheritance. It will get much more clear when I give you an example. So for example, let's say we are inside our high school and we have a class which has a lot of students inside the class. Now every school also has a lot of teachers and every teacher also has a first name, last name and email. So we don't want to write all of this code again. We simply want to inherit all of this code inside our teachers class. So what we are going to do is we are going to create a new class and let's just call it teachers. And we are going to inherit all of this stuff inside our teachers class. And how do we do that? We just going to write students inside the brackets of our teachers class. And this will simply inherit all of this cool stuff, kind of copy and paste this, all of this stuff inside our teachers class. So we can just write pass over here for now. So pass basically means we don't want to write anything right now over inside this uh, class of teachers. And let me just format this properly. So now we have created this class of teachers and we have inherited all of this first name, the last name and this email inside a teachers class. Don't believe me. So what we are going to do is we are just going to replace the uh, students with teachers. So let's do that with both of them. So instead of students, me and Johnny have now become teachers. We have uh, gotten a promotion of some kind. And now if we run this main file, as you can see, it's still printing out. Even though we have used this teachers class to create these uh, students, still it's working. So instead of student one, we can just write teacher one, teacher two and teacher dot full name. I'm just giving you an example. That's why I'm kind of just replacing students with teachers. So we got all of these characteristics, for example, the first name, the last name and the email inside this teachers class without even initializing the instance variables. And we can even print out which we will, I'll show you the full name of the teacher without even writing the function. 
because we have already written it inside our students class. Now, if we had to make this teacher's class from scratch, we would have to copy and paste all of this stuff inside also a teacher's class. And then it would kind of uh, make the whole point moot because we are trying to make sure that the code that we are writing is reusable. So now we can just change the if we want to add something over here in the initialization function, we can do that. If we want to add some other class variables over here, we can add them and they will automatically get added to the students, this teacher's class. Now you might not see the value of it right now, but when, but when you are creating like really, really big projects, then this comes in really, really handy. Or if you're working in a professional environment, you can't do really without classes and objects and this process of inheritance. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create, actually I'm gonna just going to change this to students again and I'm just going to change this also to students because let's be honest here, I'm just a student and uh, also a pretty good teacher, but we are going to create a new teacher over here. So what we are going to do is we are going to write, uh, maybe we are going to create a maths teacher and we're going to call this teachers class and inside this teachers class, we are going to give the name Emma make it capital and then the last name uh, you guessed it right it's stone <laughs> pretty pretty nice teacher huh? emma stone at the gmail.com this is our email id and anyway so we have created a maths teacher now and uh, if we want to print out the full name let's say of our maths teacher let's actually print out the first name first so let's just write maths dot first name and we'll print our print it out so let's try try print and let's just print it out and we're also going to print out the full name that is we are going to call this function and this function is going to be inherited inside our teachers class so we can just write uh, maths dot full name not f name full name and the full name is going to be automatically printed so what we can do is we can just run this main file again run main and as you're able to see that the first name is being printed and the second name, the full name is also being printed, even though we use this teacher's class over here. Now the student teacher thing might be a little bit confusing for you because we have just created both of these classes and uh, they're kind of mixing together. So what we are going to do is we are going to create a new class. So I've created this new inheritance.py file over here and I'm going to be writing new code over in this inheritance.py file. So we are going to be taking an example of university people. So we are going to be taking an example of the university and inside that university, there are a lot of students, there is staff, there are employees, there are teachers, there is uh, gardeners, for example. So there are a lot of people inside a university. So we are going to be creating an object oriented class based system that is going to be using inheritance in our case. So we are going to be creating a new class and uh, we are going to be creating a group of university people. So I'm just going to write university people and what is what are some characteristics of the people that are going to be inside this uh, university. Obviously everybody would have a first name and the last name and an email. Now I'm not adding salary over here because for example students don't have a salary but teachers have a salary that we are going to be adding separately inside a different class. But for right now, every person inside our university definitely has a first name, definitely has a last name and definitely has an email. So I'm just not going to waste a lot of time. I'm just going to copy all of this stuff from over here and I'm going to paste it over here. So now every person inside our university has a first name, a last name and an email. And we're also going to be adding the functionality to actually print out the full name of any person inside our university. So let's add that over here. All right, so this looks pretty good. Now we are going to be using the characteristic of inheritance. For example, inside a university, there are a lot of students and each of the students has a first name, the last name and an email. So I'm going to be using class students and the students class is going to be inheriting from university people. So I'm just going to write university people over here. And inside the students class, we are for, for right now, let's just write pass. And also we have a lot of uh, teachers inside a university. So let's also write teachers, university people. And we're also going to write pass over here. All right, so this looks pretty good. Let's actually try it out and see if it works. So we are just going to add student one. And let me just copy and paste this stuff from over here. And let me also just copy the teacher one over here. So I'm just going to paste this over here. And let's see if it works by printing it out. 
so let's print out something like uh, all right let's print out the students dot uh, let's print out the student one full name so i'm just going to write student one dot full name actually we don't require this print statement because we already have the print statement inside our full name function so now we can just print it out and see if it works all right so our full name is being printed let's see of our math teacher is the full name being printed or not so let's click on play and as you can see the full name is being printed so now we have inherited both of these properties inside our students class and inside our teachers class now that you understand what inheritance is let's go a level one up so what if we want to add a different characteristic inside our teachers class so right now the teachers only have a first name the last name and an email what if we also want to add salary inside our teachers class how do we do that that is pretty simple you just need to copy this line of initialization method to over here inside a teachers class and then you can just add salary over here salary and then inside this what we are going to do is we are going to take the first name the last name and email from our university people class how do we do that when we have already initialized it over here so for that we use this method known as the super method so we're just going to write super over here and we are going to write dot and then initialize and we are going to write the names of the things that we want from our parent class so in our case the teachers which is inheriting from the university people is known as a child class just like you are the son and the daughter and you're inheriting from your parent so your parent is the parent class and you your son and daughter is the child class so in our case the teachers is a child class and the university people is a parent class because teachers are inheriting from university people so that's why we are writing super that is go to the parent class and inherit the first name and the last name and an email from our parent class so i'm just going to write first name the last name and the email now if you don't want the email to be inherited and you just want to code it on your own somehow you can just remove it if you want but i want the email too so i'm just going to write email to over here and then the salary can be added in a very simple manner just like we did over here by writing self dot salary equals to salary so all right so what we're going to do is we're just going to write self dot salary equals to salary all right so we have added this extra characteristic inside our teachers class and now over here as you can see it shows us an error which says hey you have not given the salary of a teacher what kind of a idiot are you because teacher is not going to work without a salary so we're just going to add a salary and we are going to give the teacher a salary of 97000 us dollars pretty rich teacher <laughs> so let's actually print out the salary of our teacher so we can just write salary over here salary looks pretty good and let's print this out and see how it looks so let's run this inheritance file and it says mass dot salary string object is not callable all right because uh, this is not a function this is an object so i just did a mistake by calling it we have to actually print it out such an idiot but let's try it over here let's print this inheritance.py file again and now you can see that the salary is being printed so we have added so we have inherited the first name the last name and the email from a parent class that is the university people class and then we have added another characteristic that is the salary inside our teachers class so we are not inheriting everything but we are inheriting some things now the the good thing about this using this technique is that let's say for example let's say we are want to add a new characteristic inside university university people so for example let's say id we want to add an id of so every person in the university has an id for example a student roll number or a teacher id and then we can just write over here self self id equals to id id equals to id and then these four things are automatically added that is this id is automatically inherited inside this teachers class and inside the students class so we don't have to write it again over here we can just write id over here and uh, if you want to inherit inherit it you can just also write id over here and one other let, let me just roll it back because i don't want the id right now but one also great like usage of this thing is let's say you want to change the name of a name and you just want to call it last name or something so you can just call it last name over here you can just call it last name over here and you can just call it last name over here 
and maybe over here too and then you won't have to worry about changing it inside the teachers class because you have just changed it inside the university people class and now if you have for example like 100 classes of teachers students gardeners staff people or all kind of people inside the university you won't have to change the variable name of last name inside every class so that is another usage of this uh, uh, inheritance now what we can do is that we can take this concept of inheritance a little bit deeper and experiment with something known as nested inheritance so for our example let's assume that there are a lot of teachers in the university and for every subject there are a couple of teachers so for example uh, maths has a couple of teachers science has a couple of teachers uh, geography has a couple of teachers and even history so what we are going to do is we are going to create another class that's going to inherit from our teachers class which is indirectly inheriting from our university people class and that is why we are going to create a nested kind of an inheritance and if you know about nested loops you probably know that nested loop is a loop inside another loop and similarly inheritance that is nested inheritance is an inheritance inside another inheritance so it's kind of like inheritance inception but anyway so what we are going to do is we are going to create a class of uh, let's say maths teachers and inside this we are going to inherit from this teachers class and we can just write pass over here so what this is going to do is that it's not only going to inherit all of the stuff that is inside teachers it's also going to inherit it, all of the stuff that is inside university people and you're going to get all of these four properties and any other functions that you have declared inside the teachers class so this is kind of uh, the idea of nested inheritance now all these classes that is the teachers the students they are also known as child classes and the class that they inherit from for in our case this is the university people so the class that they inherit from are known as parent classes so these child classes are also known as commonly as sub classes so how do you know that uh, an instance is actually a part of a class or not so there is a function inside python uh, there are actually two functions inside Python that I'm going to be discussing now that are going to be really helpful to you when you are actually learning this stuff on your own and writing your own code. So the first statement or the first function is actually known as the is instance. So as you can see this is instance takes in two properties. The first is the instance name and the second is the class name. So basically we are finding out whether an instance is a part of a class or not. So we can just write in instance over here and then we can write the name of the instance for so for in our case for example we can just write student one student one is student one an instance of the class of uh, students let's find out and if we run it it should print out true so as you can see it says true that the student one instance is actually a part of the student class but if we print out let's say teachers is student one an instance of this teachers class and print this out you'll be able to see that it's not and if instead of teachers or students we just write university people and print this out it's also going to print out true because basically we are inheriting all the properties of university people inside our uh, students class that's why it's printing out true now the second thing is that same function is is subclass or not so this function is basically used to find out whether a, it's pretty obvious that a class is a subclass of a parent class or not. So over here what we can do is we can just write students, students and students is a subclass of university people. So it should return true. But if we say that the students class or a student subclass is a subclass of uh, teachers or not, then it should return false. So these are the two functions that I wanted you to know because when you are writing code on your own and you have some kind of a condition that requires that to find out whether a class is a subclass of another class or not then you'll probably find these two functions pretty useful so guys this is pretty much it for this video in this video we learned about inheritance and we couldn't cover polymorphism because we have already exceeded our time and I don't want to make this video very very long so it's already pretty long uh, but yeah guys anyways this is pretty much it i'll see you in the next video where we'll be learning about polymorphism so peace out